The esteemed David Brooks of the New York Times wrote a piece on July 31st entitled, Many People Fear AI, They Shouldn't. Seven people that I love sent me the link to his article. Did you see this, John? My college buddy wrote. Is he too optimistic? My mom texted me, newly hopeful. They all know about this podcast, but most of them don't watch it because the end of all tomorrows is just a very, very hard thing for people to think about and talk about. I get that. And so I'm giving those people that I love the space and time to see our brutal reality for what it is. But David Brooks's piece let them all off the hook. He told them everything is going to be okay. I have never read a more irresponsible piece of journalism on AI in my life. So for our show this week, tech CEO and AI risk reduction leader, Liron Shapira, who hosts the Doom Debates podcast, and I will go through David Brooks's article line by line, wading through his dangerous, uninformed, arrogant, reckless word soup. But before we do that, I'd like to read a personal letter I've written for David Brooks. I really hope that he watches this show. You can send it to him directly to his email at dabrooks at nytimes.com. Please do that, all of you. Dear David, I sent you an email asking to come on this show. Please consider it an open invitation. I'm John Sherman. For the past 41 weeks with no break, I have come into my office to shoot this podcast on the weekend, and then the work on it continues all week. I don't take breaks because the experts say there is no time. I am doing this for my kids. I have 18-year-old twins, a boy and a girl. I understand you have a son and he is older, but I'm sure your parental instinct never dims. David, you need to know. Your son is in grave danger from AI. I mean this quite literally. Parental instinct is why I'm spending half of my waking hours working to raise public awareness about the existential dangers that AI poses to humans. And David, I need to tell you, you kind of broke my heart. In a few short hours, with a flurry of keystrokes, you have done more to bring the world closer to AI doom than all I have ever done to push it the other way combined. You have so much power. How could you do this? My merry band of now 5,500 plus YouTube subscribers grows every week. I get emails from dads and moms all over the world. Every week, they hear the experts. They see the threat. But you're the journalist. And not just any journalist, people value David Brooks's words and ideas greatly. You have the rare ability to profoundly influence the public debate. So how can you be so far off from reality? David, your view of AI is a radical, fringe view. Polling shows 80% of the public clearly sees the dangers and risks you are so blind to. And yet you make no mention of the basics of AI risk in your piece on why AI is not a risk. Here are the basics of AI risk in four bullets. It is not hard to grasp or to write. One, the Frontier Labs openly admit their technology can end all life on Earth. Two, they openly admit they cannot control their technology. Three, they openly admit they do not understand how their technology works. And four, they spend all their time and money making it stronger, not safer. You didn't mention any of this on your piece on why there is no reason to fear AI. Which leaves me wondering who... And what are your sources? I've never worked for the New York Times, but 
I did pick up this Peabody Award at the age of 29 for investigative journalism. I got it for environmental investigative reporting, but you see, I'm not a scientist, so I always needed experts in my stories. You are not an AI researcher or a computer scientist, and yet your piece quotes exactly zero AI risk experts. How is that possible? Who are you talking to to gain this extreme fringe perspective on AI risk? Are you aware that thousands of leading academic and corporate leaders signed a 22-word statement in May 2023 that reads, mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside societal scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. All the big AI CEOs signed it. Sam Altman, Demis Asabis, Dario Amade. Have you ever heard of Professor Stuart Russell of Cal Berkeley or Max Tegmark of MIT? They all signed that statement saying that AI has an extinction risk alongside nuclear war and pandemics, but their view is more dire than even that. They think we are all likely to die from AI in our lifetimes. So do AI godfathers Jeffrey Hinton and Yashua Bengio, both of whom used to make frontier AI models and now both say they regret their life's work because they believe there's an unacceptable risk that AI will literally kill them, their families, you, me, your kids, my kids, in the next few years. What could you possibly know, David Brooks, about AI that Jeffrey Hinton does not? With all due respect, sir, who the fuck do you think you are? How dare you, with absolutely nothing to back it up, tell millions of your readers that AI is nothing to fear? Elon Musk gives AI a 30% chance of ending all life on Earth. Paul Cristiano, the head of the U.S. AI Safety Institute, gives AI a 50% chance of ending all life on Earth. How the hell did you get to 0%? Did you not think it worth including that OpenAI CEO, Sam Altman, openly admits in his own exact words, AI could mean, quote, lights out for all of us? Many people fear AI. They shouldn't. Your headline reads, David, you need to stop writing dangerous bullshit about AI and start learning about AI risk right now. I have a great respect for the New York Times and for much of your past work in particular. Fortunately for you and for humanity, your seat of power affords you the chance to right this wrong. For my kids and your son, please watch the following interview. We're gonna review every word you wrote and offer some informative commentary. Then please fix what you did. Tell the world you were wrong about AI. Do it for our kids. Sincerely, John Sherman, Baltimore, Maryland.